Ramesses III, the great pharaoh of the 20th dynasty of Egypt, was respected, admired, and feared by all. He was a warrior, a builder, and a ruler with an iron fist, maintaining Egypt's power and prosperity for more than three decades. Behind the glory and grandeur of his reign, however, lies a dark and tragic story that has captivated the world for centuries. This is a story of intrigue and betrayal, a pharaoh who met his untimely end in a brutal and shocking way, leaving behind a legacy that still resonates through the ages. Please take a moment to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons to the channel. By subscribing, you'll never miss any video and help me bring even more awesome content. Click that like button and subscribe today. Ramesses III reigned from March 26, 1186 to April 15, 1155 BC during the reign of his grandfather, Ramesses II. He was the second son of his father, Senat and Empress T. Merenice, who took power after a short period of domestic unrest. Ramesses III's childhood was spent in the royal palace, surrounded by luxury and comfort, but also by strict etiquette and upbringing. He received rigorous training in military strategy, diplomacy, and religion. When Ramesses was in his 20s, his father died and he ascended to the throne as the new pharaoh of Egypt. His coronation was a grand ceremony attended by high priests, nobles, and court officials who pledged allegiance and support to him. His reign lasted about 31 years. The next three kings of Egypt, Ramses IV, Ramses V, and Ramses VI were all his sons. Ramses III has long been the subject of historical interest, but little is really understood about his royal family. Ramses III was a man with many wives including Isis, Titi, and Thi. He is also the father of at least 10 sons and an only daughter. Unfortunately, many of his descendants died before him and were interred in Queen's Valley. Although there are few historical records, we do know that Ramses III was considered a divine figure. It is shown by his birth name, Ramses, which means Ma of the Mighty Ra. Although his throne name, Usamatre Meriamun, translates as Strength and Justice of Re, Beloved of Amun. Notably, Egyptologists have spelled his name in several ways, including that of Ramesses III. During his long reign, despite being said to be close to the gods, King Ramesses III faced numerous trials. For more than two millennia, Egypt held a position of great power throughout the territory. However, during the reign of Ramesses III, the Mediterranean region saw important transformations. This period was marked by many wars and the fall of many empires. To strengthen his empire, Ramesses III began his reign in an attempt to consolidate power. However, his efforts were quickly met with hostility. The king faced attacks from various sides, including the Sea People and Libya, in addition to other smaller conflicts. The invasion of the Sea Peoples, an alliance of plundering seafarers, posed a significant threat to the stability of the Egyptian Empire. In response, King Ramesses III launched a large-scale military campaign to repel the invaders, culminating in the Battle of the Delta. Although outnumbered, the Egyptian army was victorious, and in the end, the Sea Peoples was defeated and driven out of Egypt. According to historical records, Ramesses III's reign was characterized by a series of crises, both internal and external. The country was ravaged by drought and famine, which led to a decline in agricultural productivity and a decrease in tax revenue. This, along with the cost of the ongoing wars and the lavish lifestyle of the court, placed a significant strain on the kingdom's resources. These difficulties were compounded by the first recorded strike in history during his reign, highlighting widespread discontent among the population. Furthermore, a volcanic eruption could occur and result in trees worldwide stopping for almost two decades. This led to a substantial increase in grain prices in later dynasties, while poultry and slave prices remained high. The official monuments to Ramesses ignore these difficulties and instead seek to imitate the difficulties of his famous predecessor, Ramesses II, presenting an image of continuity and stability. Hare's plot under King Ramesses III is a fascinating and dramatic episode in the history of ancient Egypt. 
It all started in 1156 when a group of high-ranking officials and courtiers plotted to assassinate the pharaoh and put one of them on the throne. The plot was led by a man named Prince Pentawari, the son of Ramesses III with Tia, one of his three known wives. Pentawari was not satisfied with his position in the court and wished to become king. He enlisted the help of several powerful officials, including the chief imperial scribe Pabekamin to carry out his plan. The conspirators planned to use a spell known as the Hair Spell to disable Ramesses III and prevent him from defending himself. The spell involved the use of a wax effigy of a hare, believed to represent the pharaoh. The conspirators attempted to melt down the effigy and leave Ramesses III with a debilitating fever. However, the plot was discovered by one of Ramesses III's spies, and they were later arrested. Prince Pentawari and other conspirators were brought to trial and found guilty of treason. They were sentenced to death by hanging or forced to commit suicide. The legal successor to the throne was then Ramesses IV after his death, not the mastermind of Pentawari. After his death, Ramesses III was mummified in the traditional Egyptian style and buried in the Valley of the Kings. His tomb, designated KV-11, was discovered in 1799 by a group of European explorers. The tomb was found in a state of disrepair. Many of the treasures and artifacts once contained were taken away by grave robbers over the centuries. Despite the damage caused to his tomb, Ramesses III's mummy has provided valuable insights into ancient Egyptian life and culture. In 2011, a German forensic team examined his mummy and made a shocking discovery. Although it was previously believed that there were no visible wounds on his body, it was discovered that his neck was wrapped with an excessive amount of bandages. Further examination using a CT scanner by Ashraf Salim and Sahar Salim at Cairo University revealed that a deep knife cut in the pharaoh's throat had been hidden under the ice. The cut was so severe that it went deep into the bone, severing the trachea, esophagus, and blood vessels, possibly causing instant death. It was concluded that this was the cause of Ramesses III's death. According to the documentary, Ramesses, the Mystery of the King's Mummy, the wound was so fatal that no one could survive. A team of researchers in Balzano, Italy, have concluded that the pharaoh was murdered by conspirators to slit his throat. The severity of the wound and the fact that it was hidden under the bandages suggest that there was an attempt to cover up the real cause of his death. The conspirators may have been members of his own harem and court officials who had been conspiring against him for some time. Ramesses III had many enemies, and his death marked the end of Egypt's 20th dynasty. Later, a further study by Sahar Salim took a CT scan of the mummy and was revealed that the left big toe was likely chopped off by a sharp object as heavy as an axe. The wound was so fresh that there was no sign of healing, indicating that the wound was inflicted shortly before death. To make up for the loss of the toe, the embalmers placed a linen prosthetic-like object in place and six amulets around both feet and ankles for magical healing. The assassination plot was likely carried out by a group of conspirators, including those who practiced magic and used poison. Some have even speculated that the bite of a viper could have caused the king's death, as evidenced by the amulet found in his mummy to protect him from snakes in the afterlife. Interestingly, one of the masterminds listed was Ramesses III's servant in charge of food and drink. But there were also other conspirators called Snakes and Snakes who were involved in the plot to kill Pharaoh. It was previously speculated that Ramesses III was killed in a way that left no marks on his body. But the discovery of a wound to his toe and a deep cut in his throat suggest his death was a violent one. Perhaps the greatest legacy of Ramesses III to this day lies in the monumental works of architecture and art he left behind. He ordered many temples, statues, and reliefs, all of which continue to inspire awe and wonder. The Great Harris Papyrus is a testament to his achievements. This ancient document records many of Ramesses III's achievements, including his contributions to the Temple of Khonsu. The book Great Harris Papyrus, dating from 12th century BC, tells the story of how Ramesses III commissioned the construction of the Temple of Khonsu. According to the papyrus, 
the Pharaoh spared no expense to create this magnificent structure, to honor the gods and inspire awe in the hearts of the Egyptian people. The Temple of Khonsu is one of Ramesses III's greatest architectural achievements. This is a large temple dedicated to the god Khonsu, located in the ancient city of Thebes, today Luxor. The temple was built with the finest materials and skilled workers, and decorated with intricate carvings and colorful murals. His Medinet Habu Temple is also one of ancient Egypt's most awe-inspiring structures. This magnificent temple complex is located on the west bank of the Nile River in Thebes, present-day Luxor. The temple complex is massive, covering an area of more than 40,000 square meters. It consists of a series of courtyards, halls, and temples, all decorated with intricate carvings and beautiful statues. The walls of the temple are covered with hieroglyphs, telling the story of the life and reign of Ramesses III. One of the most impressive features of the Madinet Habu Temple is its hypostyle hall, a massive room supported by more than 70 columns, each decorated with intricate carvings and hieroglyphs. Another notable feature of the temple complex is the so-called Funeral Temple, a series of shrines and rooms dedicated to the worship of the pharaoh soul after his death. The construction of this massive complex required a mobilization of thousands of laborers and craftsmen who have worked tirelessly over the years to create these awe-inspiring monuments. But the temple was more than just a monument to Ramesses III's power and wealth. It was also a center of worship and learning, where priests and scholars gathered to study ancient texts and perform religious ceremonies. The temple was the spiritual refuge of the Theban people, who came to seek the blessings of the gods and took part in the many festivals and ceremonies held there. Khonsu Temple is also a symbol of the unity and strength of the Egyptian people. It is a reminder of the glory of ancient Egypt and the power of the pharaohs to create works of art and architecture that will last for millennia. All in all, the life of King Ramesses III is a testament to the power of human potential and the lasting legacy of those who strive to make a difference in the world. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and I can't wait to see you in the upcoming videos.